Here you see the controller set up. The set point, which is the, the, the bottom display, is set at 200. And the actual measured temperature is showing 198. So I'm going to raise that. Oh, you can see that the little C1 light is on, um, indicating that it's calling for heat and the temperature should be rising. So we'll take the temperature up uh, a little at a time. And it's 199, 200. Now it won't turn off at 200 because there's a band around the 200 which is set at 2 degrees. So when the temperature reaches 202, uh, that, or 202 or 203, that light will turn off, as you'll see now there, that stopped calling for heat. C1 light has gone off and for all intents and purposes the temperature should go down again. And it'll go down to roughly 2 degrees below the set point, at which point it will turn on again, as it has there. The little C1 light has turned on. Now the alarm function, which is used for something else, is the little A1 light to, on, the right, on the left hand side of the display and that has been set to come on at 10 degrees above the 200. So if you press the set button you'll see there's the A1 SP that is where you change the value of the gap between the 200 and where the alarm comes on which is currently set at 200 plus 10 which is 210. We'll push the set button a few times to get back to the um, set point. That's it. And I'll show you now if we continue up with our temperature above 200 as we showed you before this, the, the, the stops calling for heat and then at 210 the alarm will come on as required and it'll go off again when it drops down by one or two degrees from the 10, point, 10 degrees above 200 and it's off and so the controller will work like that.